will say that this is my first time throwing pancakes at a dog, and I was really happy with the results. We had Riff Raff, who, who caught three pancakes. He was three for eight, but it was still an impressive three for eight. My name is Alex Hopes, and I'm a dog photographer. What I really like to do is try to capture personality and pull from an image the uh, expression and the emotion in a dog's face. More than just taking a dog's picture, you're taking a photo of the dog's moment in time. I love the way the screen flips out as well. It kind of makes it easier. A lot of what it takes is getting lucky. I had a friend once tell me that luck is when preparation meets opportunity, and that's what dog photography is. There we go. So one of the great features about this camera is that it does have burst mode, which allows you to shoot six frames every second. Today, uh, we had a ton of people come through my little makeshift studio. I'm Stacy Axelrod, and I am the NYC pet photographer. I photograph pets all over New York City and beyond. I got two printed off. They're gonna go right in my fridge when I get home. My girlfriend's gonna be super stoked. I studied photojournalism. I've spent a large part of my career in rescues, uh, animal rescues, animal shelters. When I'm taking portraits of pets, I always look for eye contact. Ears forward, that cute little happy puppy face. My goal is to capture what the owner loves about their pet. We have the princess, and then we have Mr. Stubborn. He does what he wants. And if I'm photographing them with their owner, then any moments where they're connecting and showing how much they love each other. Um, I love to share my love of photography with people. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. And portrait mode on the Rebel T7i makes it really easy and fun to capture great portrait moments of your pet. Uh, it gives you that blurry background that you see coming from professional photographers. So this camera is, is for people who want more from their images, people who value things like uh, image quality, image sharpness, uh, lens compression, things that you can't do with a smartphone. It's gonna look like a professional portrait because the depth of field is so much better. It captures the realistic colors of your pet in a way that a smartphone usually cannot. The different modes like sport mode, TV mode, and aperture priority make it possible to create some really powerful images. When I hear shoot for greatness, I think of capturing that perfect moment between a pet and their owner. With pets, a fabulous moment can happen in just a split second, and you need a great camera that can capture that. What shoot for greatness means to me is achieving more from photography. A lot of times the best moments in life are unscripted, and you have to be ready.